We'll break. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back. Of course, that was our lovely little break. So we actually really have a really safe defense. We really do. There really is not much we can do to improve this thing. sure about that. Uh, I might not, I'm not supposed, I might not be supposed to be using torch buckets, but that's not the point. The point is our defense is impenetrable. I actually want to know this self-generating defense. It basically was set up in a manner that pretty much was unpenetrable. There literally was almost nothing enough to it. Because I, it, I think like, I don't think it had walnuts, and remember it had a ton of force behind it. I don't know. So that's gonna take a whole week. Final way, wow, so we're already at the end of this. And I hate you for that. But yeah, that's pretty safe to say we're pretty much through. Alright, so that is it. We are done with that. Shortest huge wave ever. Oh well. Um, one thing I should mention, pool, the pool. I actually came surprised I got by this far without mentioning this. The pool lands cannot be hit with the uh, lawnmower. The lawnmower will hit like the first square or whatever, and then sink. However, you can go to the Crazy Dave shop and buy the pool cleaner. And that's how you do that. So, like, Almanac, we of course for beating this level would have gone to Tangleweed. Oh yeah, carriage book is way over here. Wow. But this is a massive damage. It instantly kills it. Alright, so. Tango wave is our fun offense to pull the first zombie near them underwater. And that is really it. I love this. I'm totally invisible, Tango Kelp thinks to himself. I'll hide here just below the surface and nobody will see me. His friends tell him they can see him perfectly well, but he'll never change. I just love that. Yeah, it's um, it's it's basically the, mm, I have to say, aquatic non-charging potato mine. That's actually that's pretty much the best way to put it. It's a non-aquatic potato mine that doesn't need to charge up. But the zombie we met was the snorkel zombie, which can swim underwater, has small toes, and submerge to, submerges to avoid attacks, but only appears in the pool. Zombies don't breathe; they don't need air. So why do the snorkel zombie need a snorkel to swim underwater? Answer, peer pressure. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Zombies don't breathe, they don't need air. Yes, well, that will take care of that. I'll see you guys next time. Exciting. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I have anything else. I really don't think I do. I'll see you guys for the next video. We're definitely getting into the more in-depth systems. In fact, you can see that's the L. In the next level, we got the couple new more zombies to deal with. I definitely did not disconnect it. Oh well, whatever. I think that takes that care of that though.